Hi, it's just been uh, over a month that uh, I last showed you a typical .NET Nuke portals behavior in iPhone and uh, it wasn't exactly a pretty sight even though iPhone is a great product which uh, can zoom in and out uh, in a typical uh, web page that is designed for a large screen uh, but still um, it's not user friendly enough to entice people to for example go and purchase something on an iPhone uh, so uh, we've done the first um, um, task of producing uh, a version of Solora.com that looks good uh, on an iPhone and that you know that uh, little project went really well and uh, what we've created uh, just, just a sample of a few pages and it looks great um, uh, so we had a little bit of time to actually go couple of steps further and uh, to also produce um, the store uh, that also looks good in a small screen and also um, uh, is conscious of the real estate and uh, gives the end user um, sort of incentives to uh, click here and click there in the shortest possible time to um, view something and purchase something. So I'd like to spend a few few minutes just to go over that. Um, uh, so bear with me. Thank you. Um, I'll just quickly open um, the Safari. You can see that um, what we've done is to create um, a very slimmed down version of Solora.com that has just got a home page, uh, minimum amount of information, but it does allow people to uh, contact us. Um, obviously, we're planning to add more pages to it um, um, later on. Um, it's um, mainly done to as a showcase to uh, show the technology rather than uh, be um, a place for people to um, read all the details about um, what Solora does and products and services. Most important bit which I wanted to uh, just quickly walk through is that a version of our uh, store that uh, replicates uh, whatever we have in the, in the uh, main site um, but um, the grid is only three products uh, in one place. If somebody likes the look of one of them, Ajax works, but works within the area itself um, available. And read a bit, bit, bit more, see the uh, product image a bit better. If they like to purchase it or see more details, um, go to the next stage. And there, you know, we can put a lot more content here, uh, full details of the product, uh, just as it is uh, on the real site. Uh, so it's something that you would want to purchase on the move. Um, you, it's it's um, Valentine's um, Day and uh, you've forgotten to buy your wife um, the nice flowers you promised yourself that you're going to do. And um, check out some offerings, a local shop and uh, Yep, that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and look at more details of it. Um, there we are. A bigger picture. Details of what what they're going to send. Um, yep, the price is fine as well. Obviously, uh, it's it's the price um, uh, is localized, so in UK it would be Great British Pound, um, and you can choose that. So next time you come, it's in the cookie. For you, for you always, it'll be in the Great British Pound. Um, let's um, add it to the cart. Okay, and then now uh, view the cart. So previously, I had something else. Let's remove that from the basket. Yep, that's fine. And uh, let's go to checkout. We are now in the checkout view. So let's um, click that, that yes. Now it should go to PayPal. So there we are. Um, so you can obviously 
at this point PayPal still hasn't optimized the page for iPhone um, so you, you need to um, fill this out if you are going to use your credit card or if you have your uh, PayPal account handy then just go ahead and use that so this is as much as uh, I wanted to uh, discuss on the um, functionality so we've done our bit to make the sp store look great um, and functional so uh, the rest really depends on how eager the um, providers like PayPal um, or Google Checkout are uh, going to uh, do um, to make this a better user experience uh, when they eventually got there and now actually want to pay for a product. That's as much as I want to say. Thank you. Bye.